welcome back. Uh, I was doing a little bit of playing off camera just to make sure that I wasn't going to completely skip this up and waste everyone's time. So um, you can thank me later. <laughs> Whoops. Forgot I got it. Uh, no. Okay. Well, good. Fantastic. There we go. Attach the right process. All right. So first thing we're going to do for this. Well, let me start off. First thing I want to do is explain a joke. So if you weren't aware, um, the player names here, Dave and Eric, are, you know, part of a movie basically movie themed Dave and Hal um, Hal is the AI in the movie Space Odyssey 2000 or 2001 a Space Odyssey um, Hal was the computer Dave was the um, human that was the user I guess is what you can call it um, and then Eric and Kit are <laughs> from Knight Rider series Kit being the car um, if you haven't ever seen those things they're great um, 80s references uh, maybe 70s I, mean, I don't even know anymore but they're, they're definitely worth watching. Alright, so. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the values for the health. Um, I know they're floats. And um, the reason I know that is because I found them already. So, saving a little bit of time there. Um, so what we're going to do is just make sure those are what they are. Uh, we know that they're Dave and Eric, basically. So, cool. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to search for the 500. And we know that these two are these two. I can subtract. It looks like these are going down by one each time, so that sucks, but whatever. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out what's subtracting the values. We're going to find the opcode that subtracts the values. So find out what writes to this address. So, bloom, bloom, each one, you know, uses an opcode of some kind. Um, we're only checking what's writing to this address, so that's why it only matters if I do this one. Um, otherwise, these would all be calling that up. If I did what would, what uses that um, instruction, all of these would do it, which I guess I can show. So if I do check if opcodes also access other addresses, so yes. And what will happen now is if I do this, you'll see account, you'll see each individual one shows up on the right as those ones are accessing the thing. So done. And that's pretty much it. So cool. Anyway. So <laughs> We found that. Cool. So this is the opcode that's actually doing the thing that subtracts the health. So in order to fix this, first we want to make sure that you know not, that this is in fact what we're going to try to do. So I'll replace the code that does nothing, and you see here now the health doesn't go down for anybody, and that's another way to tell right away if it's a shared opcode. Right, restore the original code. So what we want to do is isolate particularly the two players healths. So the way we do that is we need to use the um, structure dissect or the data dissect data structures function here that tool um, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this up we're going to rename this first group to players and we're going to add some extra addresses so you go here and you click add extra address we also want a new group we're going to call that group the AIs because that's what those two P things are they're AIs and we're going to add another group, or add another address rather. We're going to change this group to AIs. And that's annoying. And I wonder if I can, if I can I set a name? Just, I can't. Cool. I'm going to name this one too. This one's going to be Eric. And then we're going to name, was it? Control R. This one's going to be Hal. And this one's going to be Kit. Fantastic. Um, that didn't go where it was supposed to. Well, great. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. So, one thing we have to look at here is, in this opcode, we have an offset of 4. So, get, to get to the root structure, what we have to do is subtract 4 from each of these addresses. So, we'll take this address, copy and paste it in there, and then minus 4. And then do the same thing for each one of these. Paste that in, minus 4. Go here, do that, copy and paste, minus 4. Same thing here, copy and paste, minus 4. Alright, so now we're going to analyze these structures. To do that, we're going to define a new structure. Doesn't really matter what we call it, so we just leave all the defaults, and here we go. So, now we have 
Um, if you know what you're looking for, it's pretty obvious right away that you're looking at this one. But how do you figure that out? So you can scroll through all of these and try to find values that look differently, but what the main thing to look through is for what the colors mean is blue means that everything's the same between each group and each well all of them are the same basically red means that each every single one of these is different green means that each one in the group is the same and then over here we have red because these are both they're different than the other group plus they're different from each other and then uh, purple means that it's different between the group so these groups are different and this one's one this one's two so we know these are this is probably always gonna be one this is probably always gonna be two and that's how it's identifying it so this offset 10 is what we need to search for and we need to check that if offset 10 is equal to one then it's the players otherwise it's the AIs so what we do come back to our memory viewer <coughs> and we're gonna do a little code injection so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to tools Auto assemble or control A if you're cool like me. And then you're going to want to do a code injection template. Leave the defaults there. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add another uh, label called player. It's going to be like our own little function that we're going to use later. And then what we'll do is we're going to put in a kind of like a compare, it's kind of like an if statement. It's a compare statement. We're going to compare EBX plus 10 to see if it's 1. If it is one, then you do this jump, and we're gonna jump to player. Otherwise, we're gonna jump to original code. Okay, so now we put the player function in here, and what the player function is gonna do is we're not gonna do this part. We're not gonna do this because that's gonna cause us to lose some um, health. We need to keep the FLDZ in because that's just required for floating point operations. That takes the number on a stack and adds it over, or adds a 0, 0.0 on there. Anyway, assembly sucks, I hate assembly. But <laughs> basically, we need to leave that in there, otherwise it'll screw up. So we're gonna do all that, crack my knuckles, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna do all that, then we're gonna jump to the exit point, which is right after the original code. So we'll do this, and then it'll jump to the exit, and it won't actually subtract any health from us. If it's not the player, so it's the AIs, it will subtract the um, health and move on smartly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna execute it. Code rejected, code ejection was successful, cool. You can see here that it has changed, it has put that jump in. We'll close this, and now we'll see that health goes down here, but health does not go down here. So now what we can do, uh, we don't even have to find a pointer for this, and close all these windows. We can restart the game and autoplay, and boom, done. <laughs> Quickly, these guys are dead, and we win. So, good stuff. And that's pretty much uh, the end of the tutorial. Um, there were some other ways to do that. There's actually a lot of different ways to do that, but um, that was the gist of it. Um, if you guys have any questions about how any of this was done, if I went a little bit too fast or something, feel free to leave a comment, question. Um, if you keep, if you like these tutorials that I'm doing, if you like to see me do and uh, cheats on games, uh, appreciate it if you guys subscribe, uh, you know, or share, or like, or do all three, preferably. I mean, if you do all three, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. I mean, you do you, right? You know, that's that's how it is. But um, uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, hope I was helpful. Hope uh, got something out of this. And if you want any more stuff, again, just uh, comments or not subscribe, but yeah, comment. Send me a comment. Uh, you can message me, I just take a while to answer messages usually. But, uh, like, I'm just going through my messages and answering a bunch from, like, four to ten months ago. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, if you have anything you want to know, just throw in the comments, or uh, I guess you can send me a message, just don't expect an answer right away. <laughs> but uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.